Wait, that hasn't been slid across for a while. Hey, I'm Cameron. I'm Clint. And I'm Jason. Today we have the new Captain Morgan White Room. I'll put a little captain in ya. What's clear to me? So this is weird because Captain Morgan has built an empire on rum that's spiced with, you know, people love it. And it's spicy. It has no spice. I'm guessing this is supposed to be like Bacardi? Mm-hmm. Uh, direct competitor. Except for this is Caribbean rum as compared to the Puerto Rican. We're looking at 80 proof? It smells like sweet and sour. That's, that's the only way I can explain the way this smells. It, it, it's not strong. So what we're going to do is we're going to try just a little taste of it to see if we get any tasting notes and then mix it into a rum and coke. <laughs> you believe it? So let's uh, try this first before we mix it. Alright. I don't know if I'd go as far as to call it as good as Bacardi, but it's not bad. Yeah, maybe a little citrus at first and yeah. then like some rubbing alcohol. Yeah, exactly. I was just going to say the same thing. Very nice isopropyl notes in here. So we got some... Coca-Cola, yep, and lime, and ice. I imagine this is going to taste like Coke. Let's go ahead and try it. With maybe a little rubbing alcohol. Not as good as Bacardi. It's not. No. See, it's got a nice strong flavor, but it's not as smooth going down as the Bacardi is. I think the flavors of the Coke and rum mix together, but like you said, it's just not as good as Bacardi. If you're going to be at a bar and want a white rum and Coke, stick with the Bacardi. And if you want Captain Morgan, stick with the spice. If I was yeah. someone who watered down my Coke, I'd switch to this. If I'm at a party and they got a whole bunch of this stuff to mix with Coke, like, eh, whatever. I'm not, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not upset about it. I'm like, well, yeah. I'll party with you guys, no problem. On a scale of 1 to 37. I might go 17. I'm going to go 15 out of 37. 17 out of 37. Thanks for tuning in to the 2 Minute Reviews.